Hello, welcome to another pro race with Eric Champagne. Line looks pretty square, the wind's a little to the left, making the pin a little favored. Biggest goal in these 49ers is to simply be up to speed at the start. Really ripping. Guy who's going to try to snake down. And he will do it successfully. That will hurt. I didn't get my bow down in time to get across his bow, and I fouled him. So we'll move on from here. I'm in a little left shift. Wind is staying pretty steady, maybe slightly increasing. Looks like there's a little more left shift on the right side of the course. If you look at the right hand sock, it's angled just slightly more. So as we go out here to the right, we should continue to get lifted, which is all good, until, of course, we want to tack. And then we're coming back on a header. Try to watch the middle sock. It's also going left. That's usually a bad sign. Because as we go back to the middle, we will get headed. Sorry, boat 43244. He simply tacked a little bit too close and couldn't get his tack completed by the time I came along. So I don't think we'll be too far behind. Right now it has the orange boat leading. I actually think that the blue boat might just get there. He has starboard advantage, we'll see. Yep, yeah, orange guy did get across. The blue boat was going so fast that he was able to sail right through below. Now they have a good battle going. That's good for me. So I'll need all the help I can get to catch up. In the pro race, if you're third, you recover your money. If you are second, you get $50 coins and if you win you get a hundred so I'm safe in that I'll recover my investment in this pro race here in third so what that allows me to do is take a little bit of risk and uh, perhaps I'll get lucky and uh, gain a spot you can see the two leaders really screwing with each other certainly costing themselves time I'm gonna be pretty close here Couldn't make my mind up at the lured mark and ended up a little head to wind and slow. We'll take a look at the socks now and the wind speed. Wind speed's staying pretty, pretty even. The wind socks go hard left. I'll be looking okay. The leader's coming out left as well. Usually they screw with each other a little more. I think he's far enough away when he tacks. No, I will be in his bad air. I still have a big gap on the third place boat. So I simply just need to sail well and hope that the two of them mess with each other a bit. I 
I almost hit that boat. That would have been my foul. All right, let's see what the wind speed's doing here. It's actually dropping. So at this point in the race, first is out of hand. So all I can do is get second or third. So we will jibe on Tommy Tambol. Tommy can be a bit aggressive. We've settled with him before. So we will just see what happens. Often that move works where you get close and then go behind him. They end up in a small shadow. As long as I have a piece of him, I'm good. There you go. Couldn't get around too close to the finish for anything else to happen. That'll be a second place, which after that race, we feel very good about. And Tommy's been beating up on me a little bit lately. 150. So we feel pretty good about that. Best max speed. I also had the shortest distance sailed, um, which is probably one of the reasons I was able to come back in that race a bit, is I watched the shifts, I sailed my own race, I didn't get frustrated when I was behind, and I just sailed my race. And you can see I just slowly climbed up after my poor start. Thank you for watching.